Alright, we are advancing in our Visual Force adventure. Now, we are going to talk about variables. Global variables and Visual Force expression. The expression of the force. So, the syntax, how it is written, is like this. Curly bracket open exclamation point. And then you do your expression here. You can do, you know, display a variable value or do a logic expression, which we are going to play around in this video. All right, now let's open our trail hat. I'm going to pop up um, my playground here. And this guy... Open my developer console. And close my last Visual Force page. We are going to create a new one. And it is called... It is called... What should we name it? User status. Okay, let's just copy that guy. And flip back to my developer console. File, new Visual Force page, user status. So we have a blank Apex page there. Okay. So let's copy this whole section and do a preview how it looks like. So basically it has a page block, a page block. The title of the page block is user status and we have a page block section and the columns is just one column. I'm going to save this and take a look what it looks like right now. Preview. It's going to look like that. All right. Simple. Let's move on. And Ooh, I have to, this is from the previous one. I'm going to close this, this guy. All right, let's move on. So now we are learning how to display the logged in user um, user fields, the value of the fields. So you can use this variable. So if I'm going to copy this, let's copy this whole page instead. So I'm going to move back and, oops, paste there. So user first name, user last name, and then user username, right? So if I preview this, which will actually show on here or here, look at that, Jimmy Tanzel. So if I zoom this up for you, that's better, right? So we have a user status and this is my first name and last name and my username. All right. So what else can you put there? So if I go back to my user status, this is the user um, global variable. So what fields can we can we access what is available? You can actually open it up. File, open resource, and user dot object. O B J. Okay. So, if I sort it here, you can see that it is um, first name, last name, right? And then there's company name country, division, email, and so on. So this, all these fields, we can display if it's filled in, because this is a trailhead. Our values are not so complete, but let me see if I display company name. Let's see if we have that even, company name, okay? So, if I put a break here and then you can use company 
company, right? Curly bracket, exclamation point, dollar sign, user dot, it's not coming up with the, so you have to know by checking your resource like that. So if I save that, and we take a look at the preview after the star is gone, it's still trying to save. Come on, already. Okay, flip back here. And here, the company, it's, it's showing zone.io. So you can access whatever field from the user object you want to display. Just choose what you want to display. This is the first name, and if it's populated, or filled in, you can display it. The same thing with any other object, okay? But not everything is a global variable. The user is a global variable. We will learn about that um, throughout the visual force trails. All right, let's flip back to the trail. So we've tried that. Let's see what else. Formula expression. So you can add strings this is strings right string and this is also a string which is my last name or the the logged in user last name and you can add string like with an and sign emphasis sign and then you you put a, a a single quote space single quote it's basically adding a space between it okay and add the following to the page markup below to see the user information i think uh, we're just gonna do the whole thing the year. I mean, this is different too. So if I copy the whole thing, let's just copy the whole thing and talk about it, okay? So I'm just gonna copy this, flip back over here. So let's just do, yeah, we can just break again. Okay, copy that, right? We can do that. Flip back and copy this. Flip back, boom. Flip back, copy this one, boom. Flip back, copy this one, boom. Well, today's date is, no, this is not, we don't want it, this one. That's what it's gonna um, produce, right? So, if I, Command A or Control A and then Shift Tab. Nice and tidy. Okay, we save that. And we see what's going to happen is this. So today's date is Thursday, February 20, 000 GMT 2020. Next week, well, it's exactly 000, really? Um, not really. Next week will be Thursday, February 27th, and the year today is 2020. Tomorrow will be, tomorrow will be day number 21. And let's find a maximum six. So all of this is a result from this code, right? Today's date is simply invoke the today function that will give you the today's um, value here. This is the today's function will result that. Next week, you plus seven, it's going to result that. The year today is, so year function of today, okay? Tomorrow will be day number. This is all the day function. So you can play around with that. You can do reference of date functions, okay? If I Google Salesforce date functions, There, you can, you can play around, just, just try around, okay? See what's available. So when you're actually wanting to create something, you see what's available there, okay? So for example, you see uh, the hour function, you click on that, and then you see the hour function is like this, something like that, you can use it, all right? So that's uh, a reference for you. Let's move on. So we've tried all that playing with the functions and even the string function. Is it true that salesforce.com contains force.com? So 
Is it true that the word salesforce.com contains force.com? Yes, it's true, right? So it's going to say, it's going to say true because it is true, right? This string here contains this string. Okay, that's another string function. So we are just playing around with functions a bit just to uh, show off of what you can do with expression. You can even do conditional expression like a logic. So if I mean, I'm just going to copy that over and put it there and then do the tidy up there. So if salesforce.com contains the word force.com and then you do yep if not nope so that's the if syntax if this is true what should i do if it's true if not if it's false what should i do or display if day for today is less than 15th before the 15th or after the 15th if it's false okay so right now is february the 20th so we should have the 15th or after as the result because it's after the 15th is greater than let me save that make sure the star is gone and flip back to our visual force there the 15th or after and yep it is right okay flip back to our trailhead so this is what we have now and i've explained that and we've played with the user variable and we can do an if statement as well it's pretty much the same thing right so that's pretty much it well that's pretty quick let's do the challenge um in this video as well so let's do this okay Create a visual force page that shows user information. It has to be display user info. Let's make a new one. Apex um, visual force page display user info. What should we do? The displayed user information must be generated dynamically from the logged in user. Okay, but what? Uh, what should we do? Create a visual force page that displays the first name here. It should this should be here, right? The first name of the logged in user. Well, that should be pretty easy. <laughs> this is all you do. Curly bracket exclamation point dollar sign global variable user dot first name, right? And if I save this and I preview it. Oh, is my name Jimmy? Am I Jimmy? I am Jimmy. So it's good to go. That's pretty, pretty lame for a challenge, right? This is not a challenge. Come on, Trailhead Creator. Give us a better challenge than this. Okay, we're going to get the points anyways. We want the points. I'll see you on the next video, which should be more challenging. Oh, yeah. Use standard controllers i like that do you like to control stuff do you like to control um, what you create okay we got the points and i'll see you on the next video boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.